time these two teams met, and it was in Lawrence. Oklahoma shot 45%, which is very, very good against the stern Kansas defense. Well, Kansas is known for their size and rebounding, but not very many people think of what they do in terms of denying the passing lanes. Abercrombie couldn't get it to go. Maiden tries to pick it up, and Haas comes away with it. So far in field goals, Oklahoma now four of eight. Kansas two of six from the field. Those two fouls on Jacques Vaughn, they couldn't move very large in this game. We have to keep an eye on it, and let's see if Oklahoma's going to try to take the ball to him. Anxious with the foul. I'll tell you what, I was thinking the same thing you were during the break. I checked on the total number. In 23 games, he's only got 51 fouls, which means the average is barely over two per game. He's already at pet mark. And not to suggest that he would foul out of this basketball game because high odds that he would not. But Roy Williams is not going to take a chance. He's going to get him a breather early. So well, you have to control the situation. And if you're Kelvin Sampson, you, you really want to be pleased. You cut off the head of the dragon, and the dragon being Jacques Vaughn, who's able to get his teammates involved in this game. B.J. Williams just to the ball game, and he scores. And that's an 11 to 9 ball game. left alone. He'll put up a three-pointer. Pollard out to C.B. McGrath. Inside to Pollard. And Williams on the follow. Can't get it. Oklahoma knocks it out of bounds. Kansas is such a great rebounding team on both the defense and the offensive glass. And so that's why it's going to be important for Oklahoma to come up with their defensive rebounds get possession and they can go back the other way with numbers substitutions for Oklahoma Barnes comes in he had an awfully good game against uh, KU last time and Calvin Curry the senior out of Compton pass for three won't go minor with the rebound and he throws it away right back to McGrath B.J. Williams a little too tall on that pass, and it's two KU turnovers. Nice defense by James May to deny Pollard the ability to be able to squat and still stretch back up and get a hand on that ball. He barely touched it. 11 to 9. Sooners lead. as he pushed him out of bounds. Indeed he did. Calvin Curry wanted to try to take a shot the last possession when he had it in his hands and threw the ball all the way across court. And in doing so, he was a little frustrated with himself when this pass was intercepted by Jared Haas and did not get good position or get his body out of the way to avoid that contact. Rips it. Walk on and now has a scholarship. He is out of Topeka, Kansas. Only a freshman. C.B. McGrath against Oklahoma scored 13 in 13 minutes, scored five points and had three assists earlier. Barnes left alone on the baseline. It's a very nice pass on the baseline from Johnny Anches. Inside the corner. They double team him, but the jump hook is there. And very quickly, Yadish, Jason Yadish, a junior out of Glenpool, Oklahoma, about to check into the lineup as they try to get some large help inside. He's 6'11. Minor. What a reverse spin move. Can't get it to go. Maiden with the tip inside. Another follow. It's not there. And Williams with the rebound, and he got hit in the eye. Great hustle on the offensive glass by Oklahoma, trying to keep the ball alive. Watch Scott Pollard the last time down. Watch his positioning as he slides down the corner of the lane, gets the ball in his hands, and keeps the ball up high around his numbers so he doesn't allow a defender to come underneath and knock it out of his hands. But Maiden is going to try a reverse layup and watch the hand come over the top. Anches with the steal, back to Barnes. Dion with the left-handed finger roll, and he's fouled by McGrath. Oh, 
Deion Barnes is an explosive player, extremely versatile, can play the point or the two-guard position, but likes the passing lanes and can get out front on the break, and when he gets the ball in his hands, he looks to get to the basket and score. That is four points for Barnes. Williams will go out of the game as they will check his eye, and Ray Prince will come back into the lineup. Barnes, the last two games, has averaged 11 points and four rebounds a game, so he's made a major contribution for the Sooners. Mark Cairns, who is the trainer for the basketball team, checking over B.J. Williams on that Kansas bench. Offense. Sean Pearson picks up the violation. First personal against him, but it's five team fouls against KU. That's going to be large, and Jock Juan with his two fouls certainly contributed to that, but the Jayhawks are an excellent team when it comes to passing their motion offense and setting screens, and that time Sean Pearson just happened to get caught not being stationary as he set that screen. headed toward the hoop. It's going to be against Curry. Curry just reached out. He was by him, and he tapped him on top of the head. That's a bad foul. And, and it happened right in front of his head coach, and his head coach is not real excited about his second foul. It's an unfortunate foul because Calvin Curry just gets beat on the play. When you get beat on the play, don't compound it by creating a foul for your team. Get Try to get back in the play as quickly as you can. Calvin Curry needs to be on the court so he can give some offense. Billy Thomas checks into the lineup. Jacques Vaughn comes back in. And also, Greg Gurley, the senior out of Leewood, Kansas. A good three-point shooter is Greg. Whistle and a foul inside, and that's going to be against Oklahoma. Let's see, is it going to be Barnes or Yanish? Jason Yanish, I believe. Yanish will pick up the violation. Look at the big guy down on the block. Greg Ossetag is working to the middle. He doesn't have it. He moves inside, feels behind him, trying to make contact against Giannis, and actually draws that foul. The lob inside. Uh, Le Prince can't get it to go. Here's Miner. Miner for three. He's got six points now. Gurley for three. Not there. Launches back to Barnes. Now three. Ron, do you think the Sooners know these rims? Very soft shots. friends with the turnaround the last time Barnes played against KU this year he had 12 points and five assists he's come off the bench and he already has eight early points major league you want to try to bring something to the table when you come into a game and that's what Kelvin Sampson wants to have he doesn't have very good depth on this team only eight scholarship players minor it's a two-pointer and I'm telling you I've never heard this much noise in this arena. These kids are really feeding off the home ground. Curry for three. Billy Thomas, he gets a three. Billy Thomas shoots about 41% from outside the stripe, so somebody's got to put a hand in his face. So with that, it cuts it back to a seven-point margin, and Oklahoma wants a 20-second timeout. Well, Big Monday presented by Bud.